Hi guys, welcome to the gun shop with me, John. Today we're going to be looking at this, the Beretta 686E Evo. I'm going to start with this wonderful Beretta Blue ABS case uh, you'll mostly be familiar with. Uh, it is not an exciting case, it's their bulk standard blue ABS case with the four push-pull locks on. It says a big Beretta stamp on the top, so that's quite cute. Uh, inside you have the moulded plastic, the Beretta oil, the choke key, the three spare extended chokes. It comes with a spare micro -core pad, warranty and instructions, little bits of foam and a little bit of bubble wrap and grease proof paper, uh, but we tend to throw those away actually. So, I oh know that's very exciting. Let's move to the gun. So here she is. Uh, starting on the back you have the standard Beretta adjustable pad system. This means the length of pull on this gun can be adjusted anywhere from about 14 and a quarter, 14 3 eighths, all the way with the inch spacers. I mean, with standard pads, you get it out to just about 15 inches, and with the spacers, Christ, you can have these things at 16 inches. Yeah, they don't look great, but it's significantly cheaper than getting a gunsmith to do it properly. Uh, you have the grade 2 plus to grade 3 wood. You have laser checkering. So this 30 inch variant comes in at £7.10. Uh, there is no palm swell, it is laser cup checkering with a semi full pistol grip non-adjustable trigger. Taking the lack of palm swell and the non-adjustable trigger into account, apart from that it is pretty much like a six, a late 682 Gold E uh, and kind of replaces it in their lineup if you like. So you've got a lot of the technology from that filled into this when they moved the 682 off and brought in the 692. You have a manual safety catch, the selector, a gold non-adjustable trigger and a fairly plain action. You have the standard sort of raving with a gold inlaid 686E and a gold inlaid 686E in the bottom. And this is the way to define between an early 686E and these later 686E EVOs. Uh, the rib is a tapered 10 to 8 mil and they come with a little wide bead sight, but this is threaded so you can put in anything you like. It comes with five Optima HP extended chokes and they are actually very, very pleasant and quite a good choke to, ma to match. It is ventilated top and mid ribs. And we'll have a quick look at the bore size. The forend is a Schnabel forend. These barrels are 18.6 bore, so they are a true overboard barrel. And they are chrome lined. With, apart from that, these guns are essentially just a standard 680 series action. You have the same stylistic engraving on the trigger plate, sorry, on the trigger guard and the top lever there. And that's about it. It is a very plain looking gun. Like I said, so it was a 682 Gold E, which this did replace. In the shooting, actually, it kind of, it's trying to be a lot of things. Being such an all round sporter, it doesn't seem to have quite the same soul as a 682 Gold E did. And that I feel is lacking. Whether that's just marginal things, a bit like maybe it'd be nice to have the palm swell, maybe it'd be nice to have a slightly wider trigger blade just to really define it as a sporter more than it already is. I just felt like it was slightly lacking. And I understand that that is personal preference a lot of the time but that's just my solid opinion on it it is a very nice gun but just like I said it, it lacked a little bit of soul which for two thousand pounds I suppose it's allowed to nowadays but it shouldn't do all right and that was it the 686e Evo uh, for more information on the 680 series action we've got a full silver pigeon advanced review that will go into internal on this and actually look at the mechanical and usability side Essentially what you're paying for is a silver pigeon with slightly more advanced barrels, although what that will make you hit I do not know, and a slight upgrade on the wood, or well, a nice upgrade on the wood. These guns are well oil finished, they do look good, and I say they handle well, uh, it's just that they're kind of non-committal. I suppose from that point of view they're a great beginner's gun, a great sort of first or second gun, before you kind of really want to maybe get something that is more designed for you or specialised for you. Take one out, give them a go and I suppose that's as much as I can say for them. They are a good solid workhorse of a gun, however I feel purely based on the lack of soul, and I know it's kind of stupid because it is a machine, it's not for me. They do balance well, a little bit front heavy, I think about half an inch in front of the hinge pin. A little front heavy but not too bad, I'll tell you what, palm swell would have brought a little bit of that weight back. But that's just for me to say. Would I spend £2,000 on it? <laughs> Clearly not. But don't be put off. Go and check it out. My personal preference of that money, the 690 Sports Scroll. 
same price, better go.